What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're here for some more Need for Speed stuff and today I was actually going to make an Underground 2 video but I was really compelled to make this. You may have noticed with my channel, other than the Underground 2 Let's Play, I'm really trying to kind of make all the Need for Speed content that I do kind of put, kind of direct to the future, direct to what Need for Speed has coming up because, you know, the past is coming on, we're looking forward into the future and this is kind of the time where things really are all up in the air. No one really knows what's going on, um, no one knows the direction for the next game, we've literally heard nothing, we know nothing and it's one of those things where we are currently this is the kind of time that you want to be speculating, this is the kind of time you want to be putting out your ideas because realistically, this is when Ghost will probably be listening. So let's go ahead and look back at like pretty much all the Need for Speed games, all the most, most important Need for Speed games and talk about like what from each game could come back in Need for Speed 2019. When I say that, I mean taking the best elements of each game. So I'm going to go through some of my favourites and talk about features that I'd love to see return and I hope that you guys could maybe do the same in the comments. Mention three games, put them down in the comments and mention some systems that you'd like to return from those games. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of underground, a lot of most wanted, a lot of carbon comments. I can see a lot of pro street comments as well for that matter. Very up a bit. I'm only going to pick two games from the golden era and then I'm going to pick one from the other eras. I might go actually pick a few more because why not? I've got time. But I'm not going to pick any more than two games from like the kind of golden era of Need for Speed games. I'm going to mix this up a bit and talk about things which I'd love to see from across the board. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Let's get it done and over with because otherwise we're going to be here for absolutely ages. Let's talk about the golden era. First up is Most Wanted and I think something which Most Wanted did really, really well was replay value. Not only in the modes, so you had obviously Speed Trap, Lap, Knockout, these are modes which, and, and Toll Booth, those are modes we, which we haven't seen in absolutely age, but as well as that you also had Pursuit game modes uh, and Pursuit milestones and there was a lot of replay value in that the challenge series literally was built off these extra modes so replay value is something which i think the next game can really really benefit from inspiration from most wanted 2005 is something which i definitely want to see in this regard and i know that most wanted wasn't the only game with fantastic replay value you look at games like hot pursuit 2010 carbon pro street even there's a lot of games in the series which have had replay value but the reason why i say most wanted is because of the way it was done with police the way it was done you know even with the reward card system from Carbon, a lot of crossover between Most Wanted and Carbon in that way. Replay value is something which the next game needs oh so dearly. Now Carbon for me is not one of my favourite Need for Speed games. Um, yeah, I think that's be a lot. I think that'd be quite surprising for a lot of people actually. I didn't play Carbon until relatively later on. I never had it on launch. You know, I had like every game from Hot Pursuit to Most Wanted, like pretty much the Christmas it came out. Carbon was one I played maybe like two or three years later. So I had a few years gap. You know, I wasn't straight back into it. But even with that being said, I still really enjoyed the game. I didn't think it was anywhere near as strong as Most Wanted or Underground, and I'll still stand by that today. I don't think they are as strong games as you know the ones I just mentioned. But Carbon also did a lot of things well. Canyon battles need to return at some point in Need for Speed. Some of the most fun I had on that game was the boss battles and, you know, the way the boss battles were also done. Now, when I say canyon battles, I'm kind of referring to boss battles generally. The way they were done in Carbon, I think, is almost unrivaled. Again, a lot of crossover between Most Wanted and Carbon in this way. Uh, you know, with Most Wanted, you had the Blacklist, you had Blacklist cars, you had the Blacklist entrances. For those that don't remember, like, you, the cars would come in in a certain way. That was really cool. With Carbon, they went one step extra, so you had everything, which the previous games had but in a cruise system and then you'd even have little things like in the races in the uh, canyon races you'd see the the, the uh, the driver come up in a little kind of box like a tv screen really cool shit really innovative for the time as well really story based really cool something which i definitely want to see you know some type of influence coming to the next game boss battles need to have some type of weight to them i actually don't remember any of the payback characters and i actually to be all, in all fairness i do remember all the 2015 characters so maybe there's a sense of you did something right over there. Maybe not as cheesy, don't go net as cheesy in the next game, but there's a reason why I remember nakai Sun, you know, Magnus Walker, Travis, uh, all those people from 2015, Spike, Amy, but I don't remember anyone from Payback. I remember the, what's he called, the creator? The curator? I don't, I don't know. Let's not talk about that game. The less said about that, I, I, I uninstalled that game a very long time ago. I'm not touching that game ever again. Not until, you know, we know what the next game's called and I need to do, you know, videos and talk about Need for Speed Payback in 2019. That will probably come. Anyway, moving on. Those are the two kind of things I want to see from the Golden Games, pull from the Golden Games. The boss battles 
definitely. And the replay value. Um, again, just games that really had really good replay value. Had the good boss battles. Don't want to ramble on about that too much more. I think you've already heard pretty much everything I need to say. Now, because you guys are probably going to comment a lot of stuff about, you know, Underground, about Most Wanted, about Carbon, I kind of want to touch on a few things which I, you know, thought of before this video from the other games. Because the other games, that I don't think a lot of them get enough credit for the things they did. Let's talk about Hop Shoot 2010. And let's talk about multiplayer. Oh my god. Multiplayer in Hop Shoot 2010 was really fucking good. Like, really good. Really balanced, well done. Now, I'm not saying I'd want weapons, and I don't think weapons have a place in Need for Speed in 2019, but what I am saying is the multiplayer from uh, Hop Shoot 2010 is definitely something which I, I, I think almost needs to be, like, copied. The balancing in that game was awesome it was absolutely fantastic you had the five different classes you know the cops versus race everything was well balanced now obviously there was no upgrades in that game obviously there's a few things here and there which you know they won't translate say into this game it's cops versus races as well i think something like that would definitely work in the next game but i would never want to see you know the game be based around cops versus races what i would want to see is a plethora of modes you know even take some modes from maybe games like undercover like cops and robbers king infected from forza those types of things and then put it in a lobby system which works like hop shoot 2010 where you can you know get ranks and stuff the run also did this very well with medals and x P. These are all things which I want to see. I'm going to grab in from three games here. Hop Shoot 2010 as a core foundation of what the multiplayer should be. The run in terms of the progression. And then Undercover taking a few modes just to beef up the multiplayer as a whole. Obviously Free Roam should be there. That makes complete sense. But those three things kind of come together to kind of mesh and make a good little thing. I think if you had those three all together with a bit of Most Wanted 2012's Free Burn challenges. Uh, and you kind of had that all as a, as a little baby. I think that would be a really really good multiplayer for a Need for Speed game. And I think those are things that, which they can definitely draw from. I think Need for Speed's really lucky in that situation where they really can pick from a lot of different things because the series has gone on for so long. And I think things like, you know, the run, the runs multiplayer where, you know, you even got unlocks as you were playing the multiplayer. You'd unlock cars and body kits stuff as you were playing the multiplayer. Those are all things which, you know, the next game can take from. And that's things I honestly don't see a lot of people talk about. Pop Shoot 2010 had a really good multiplayer. The run had a really good multiplayer. The undercover, I know it was a long time ago, almost 10 years ago now. It was 10 years ago now, uh, obviously in Christmas time. Like, there's a lot of things those games did well. And I was lucky enough to play those, at least most of those, in the time they came out. And I think that's just something definitely Ghost can take from. Rivals. And please wait a second. Rivals Cop Chases was some of the best in recent memory. Uh, now, again, weapons don't need to be a thing. I'm going to keep saying that because they just don't need to be a thing in 2019. But what does need to be in 2019 is the aggression the cops showed. If you had to ask me honestly, like on an honest level, I would rather have the Rivals Police than Most Wanted 2012 Police because they were aggressive. Now, they're definitely going to need to be some elements of it. It can't be completely aggro all the time because that's not how a Need for Speed game should be in 2019. But what I do think is that, you know, in the higher heat levels, they should be how they were in Rivals. To be honest, this is something which Payback did well. The aggression of the police was perfect. You just couldn't free roam with them. Um, so more refinement on them two games, which is something I never thought I'd say about Payback. But, you know, it is what it is. If they can, you know, just unlock them in the open world and add pursuit breakers, add pursuit milestones, you know, similar to the older games. I think that's something which could make police very, very compelling in the next game. Get rid of like the rhino alerts and stuff. Make it a lot more kind of like a sandbox police chase than maybe just like it's scripted police chases. I feel like that's what they did definitely do towards Payback's life cycle, but it was nowhere near enough, of, you know, as much as it should have been. These are things I want to see improved on in the next game. And finally, we're going to talk about 2015 because to me, that was the last Need for Speed game I enjoyed. Obviously, Payback's been the only one since then, but Need for Speed 2015, I think, deserves uh, a kind of place in this kind of little list, like, comparison thing because it did do a lot well. It did atmosphere well. Like, I don't think I need to say any more. It felt like you were in an underground street racing. Even if everyone was giving hugs and smiles and stuff, it still felt illegal. It still felt wrong. Customization is 
something which I think 2015 has done, you know, tremendously well. I think Payback does it well as well. But 2015 was the kind of the, the kind of brought, brought in everything to do with customization. I think I want to see more of that. I honestly, I will still stand by that the current Need for Speed games now have the best customization in any racing game almost ever. Um, Juiced would be up there as well. There's obviously a few games, but in terms of Need for Speed, I think 2015 and Payback offer the best customization in an Need for Speed game, period. Expanding on the customization, expanding on the story. Bring Travis back, you know. Like, Travis is the best character that they've ever brought, like, Ghost have ever introduced since they've taken over. Bring Travis back. I'd really, really like to see him back. He's the only character I felt like I actually related to in the slightest. And most importantly, and I think this is kind of the main one, really, and I said this exact same thing about Forza before Horizon 4 came out, the kind of thirst to make a really groundbreaking Need for Speed game. I don't know if it was just me, and I can only speak for myself, but Payback didn't feel like there was any hunger to really make a solid game. He didn't feel like there was any passion put into it. And I'm sure there was, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Ghost is passionless. What I'm saying is if you compare Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 to Horizon 4, you can 100% tell Horizon 4 is a passion project. In Need for Speed term, that's what 2015 feels like to Payback. 2015 feels like Horizon 4 in terms of it felt like a passion project as well, Payback feels more similar to Horizon 2 and 3. And I think that's the kind of main thing which really would change um, a Need for Speed game for me is if that kind of fire came back. I'd love to see it. Honestly, I'd love to see that come back. That's what I miss from Need for Speed is that, that hunger and that desire to kind of like make something great. It felt like everything with 2015 really was pushing things forward genuinely. genuinely. Um, and I think that's kind of the main thing which I think was missing from the last game. 2015 was a great example of it. Um, and I'd definitely like to see more of that going forward. There's definitely other things I could mention in this list. Things like an original soundtrack, not only like actual licensed songs, but Pursuit music. Uh, this is something which Neo Speed has been, been doing for ages. Uh, but official licensed music would be really cool of actually getting some bigger artists in there, as well as smaller artists there as well. But that's it for me. I could ramble about this all day long, but that's all I'm going to say for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and peace.